environmental sciences. And I'm lucky enough to teach our senior capstone course. And in this course, our senior students design and create a cohesive collection for their target market based on their design philosophy and around an inspiration. So the big thing for this class is they have a big fashion show at the end of the semester. So it's very stressful, time management is key. So we'll go through all the experiences that they encounter during the semester. Um, so everything that they've learned in previous courses will be done in this class and ends up in a runway show in portfolio. So some of the most important student learning outcomes is to design the cohesive collection, um, to display confidence in their creative design. New this semester was uh, participating in group critiques and then notice opportunities for inspiration within their environment and develop a curiosity and creativity plan to be more curious and how they design these products for their customers. How the ELO has assisted me was this class is very uh, stressful. Uh, the timing has to be perfect to get these garments finished in on time for the fashion show. So for <coughs> before, I was always, you know, rush, 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 let's get this finished. But this is probably kind of to sit back with the students. We all um, wrote journal entries together. Every class we kind of had 10 minutes to discuss with one another about um, how their confidence is, you know, to, to number that in that rubric scale. And then to um, talk about what it means to be a curious design, to ask questions, be a sponge, look at problems in a new way, and how you can be more creative design. So also this semester we did in-class group critiques. So the students would present their designs, they would say what worked, what didn't work, and then the other students would give feedback on what they liked, what could be um, improved on, and then they would go into a private room and they would have no cards and they would do uh, grade them sort of on a rubric scale on creativity, fabric, color selection, quality of work. And these students were so excited to get these note cards back to see what their peers actually thought about their work. So they weren't being nice, you know, sort of in person, but when they were private, they could see these note cards and see what they really thought. So that was interesting to put that out there. Um, in the post-reflection, I'm going to have a portfolio and senior poster series, which we'll look at later. And then I had them write a letter to the next class at the end of last semester. So they could talk to, give advice about what worked, what didn't work. Um, we read them last night, my juniors last night read them, and it was pretty interesting what uh, the seniors had to say about that experience. Time management was one, <laughs> definitely. And um, you know, not um, putting things off to the last minute, it was a big thing. All right, so this um, is their collection process. <clears throat> All the research is done over the summer as far as their customer research, their inspiration, sourcing fabrics and trims. And then when they start day one, um, you know, they've already defined their problem, their design concept. Uh, they've already researched the market and trends and fabric and trim resources. And at this point, um, we've already looked at their sketches. They know what they're going to create and they start creating the patterns and start sewing the garments, so test garments, measuring models, and keep going. And then it turns into group critiques when they turn in their looks. Um, so this is all the exam examine options and big solution. We all get together and do group critiques and then, then do the private critiques uh, in a separate room. So after their garments are created, they do a professional photo shoot with a professional fashion photographer, and just in this one experience, they get to um, have the time to work with the fashion photographer, uh, solve those problems quickly, work with their models, if the models aren't cooperating correctly, <coughs> um, you keep going. And this all ends up in their portfolio at the end of the semester. So they have to scout out their own models, measure them, all that. Then it leads up to the fashion show. Um, this is when they evaluate the solution afterwards, studying the photos and videos of the show that we look at. Um, again, they have to pick out their music, pick out the models, do the styling head to toe. So it's a lot of work, exactly what they'll be doing when they get into the industry, that they have this experience at the end of our program. So then one more, and can you click that link? Because uh -huh. I have to figure it out. Yeah, go for it, one more. Okay. And one more. Oh, 
Yeah. Which one? Oh. You keep going. Keep going. You're good. Yes. All right, one more. more. Okay. Next one. And then one more. Okay. <laughs> and it should be underlined. There yeah. Oh, so there we go. Okay. Use your mouse and click that okay. link. Because I want to go to see at least one. Clean up. Well. They're students. Um, that's their job to scout out um, models. So that's just the, the Red Center, <laughs> Ferguson Center. Go out and just. Um, you know. There's not a formal call audition. Not yet. That's a, that's one of the ongoing yeah, sure, sure. kind of questions. Sure. That the student group is. Uh, yeah. Working with them during, throughout the semester, um, you know, trying to test garment, getting the final garment completed, and having that shot professionally, and then getting ready to show. <laughs> so this show is in front of you know their family, their friends, their peers. So in this class, they really care about what they're doing because it is going to be put out there. So. show they collect all of their work that they've done in our program and especially the senior collection and they have a poster series and we hang these posters in the second floor of our building which is Doster Hall and then have a little reception where the faculty can come and look at all their posters so it's kind of a snapshot of their portfolio but then also um, the freshmen the sophomores and juniors can come and look and see what they have to expect and that aspirational feeling they have when they see these posters this is Effie. You can see her work on her digital portfolio. So after the show, they build a digital portfolio, a physical portfolio, and they do the poster. She did. She worked with the School of Engineering and did some wow. 3D shoots. Um, she was really neat. So if you can keep scrolling down. Thank you. You can see her sort of new board. You just keep going. Illustrations and all of her looks broken down. So keep going down, I think that... The website, the website design is part of your class? Or they sort of... Right, it's built into it. So you can stop here. I'm going to see this one. This is her, was her sustainability project. These were Walmart shopping bags that she crochets into a poncho. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, so you can go back to the other PowerPoint. Okay, so go forward. And this is another, you know, everyone's totally different. They all have different customers. Let's say collections, and then hit SS18. Oh wait, sorry. Hit collections. Let me come over here. SS18. One down. The SS18. Yeah. And then just hit the right arrow key to go through it. We're right here. Um, so, you know, finding these models that are comfortable in front of the camera mm -hmm. is, I tell them that's the key, but that's, presentation is everything. Um, so this is what they would actually send to an employer to apply for a job. You know, then when they would go on the interview, they'll actually have a physical portfolio. Mm -hmm. well, and again, you go back. And then we'll put more. And she doesn't have her link yet, but... Okay, so you can see sort of a wide range of their uh, creativity and their customer. Um, but the big thing in this class was that helped me the most was having those weekly journal entries for them to set back and just kind of reassess how things were going in the semester because they're stressed out, I'm stressed out. And then I like the idea of the meditation. Next <laughs> 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 semester, I think that's a great idea for this generation to do that. Um, so I'll um, probably incorporate that a little bit. And the group critiques was one of them. Yes. yes. I wondered if there was a way to add in an element of, of the client, like a person who asks them for a specific kind of a, a 
design of a casual outfit or a sweatshirt? We kind of get into that in the junior year. They have a client-based project. Um, but I think we can do more of that because at the end of the day, these students will design a product that somebody will want to buy in order to be relevant. So mm -hmm. everybody is wearing clothes all the time, so you got to give a reason to buy. And you got to have a fresh point of view, so that's what I always mm -hmm. try to push. How many students do you have in there? This was 14. 14. Yeah. It was a good group. Yeah.